these are some crepe myrtle limbs. I'm trying to make room for Tony to cut the grass when he walks by, but Tony, just take them around and show them the crepe myrtle trees. All right, yeah, it's just it's rained a lot, so they are kind of yeah, wet. So they're kind of leaning over, so right. I just made some backyard. I would never bring this in the house because it it will, you know, right. fall everywhere. Okay. These are the crepe myrtles, and man, these, they've, they've got a bunch of blooms that are coming out that I've just trimmed. Most of the low-lying limbs. Bees love these. If you, I don't know if you can hear the bees. Get up in there with the camera. And see, just, just be quiet for a second. Okay. Listen to all the bees. They love it. There's a honeybee, isn't it? Honeybees love it. So my honeybee's eating. See, there's the honeybee right there. Yeah, sure is. See him? He's got pollen on his legs. So these are all real wet see, right now. Most of them still have buds. Yeah, so they're going to keep so on coming the, out. See yeah. the bud right there? Yep. But what you want to do, most people perform crepe murder, is what I call it. <laughs> and that's where they trim all the way down into the limb. Yeah. And you don't want to do that. You just want to just give it a... A light trim underneath and let it go up in a spray yeah. almost like an umbrella. Now ordinarily they don't hang that, that low it's because of that they get very heavy when they're wet. They're heavy with water. Now Real. here's what you do need to do. See this? Yeah the bark. Now come over here. You've got here's baby crate myrtles growing here yeah. and see they're actually gonna bloom. They sure are yeah. But I don't let these grow. You go ahead and take these out of here and see all these on that here. One already has bloomed yeah. But you can see since we've lived here I've trimmed from here. I've trimmed from some oh, of yeah. these knots through here. So we've actually had. They shed their bark. The bark peels off as they grow. This, yeah. this means that they're widening. Yeah. So here's their. These trees have widening. grown grown quite a bit since we've uh, moved in. We've been here four years now. We'll show them again when all the leaves. Yeah, when the well, when the water's off of them, they stand up really pretty and look nice too. And I'll show you how to trim them next um, after um, for, after winter. Yeah. I'll show you how to trim them. This is not when you trim them. I'm so. holding this up about seven and a half feet high, just trying to get some of these working. Let me show them how tall it really is next to okay. you. So Tony's six two, <laughs> yeah. and that's how big the crepe myrtle trees are. Um, so we got a tall guy standing next to him. You're pretty big. Pretty big. <laughs> there you go. We we'll got a lot, about them more about a them. lot of trimming to do. These, uh, I got to trim. I trim the limbs off these river birches all the time too, uh, just to make it easier to mow underneath them. They have the most unusual bark. So we've got these river birches that grow down below the uh, house. I didn't plant any of these trees. I love the the bark; is just very cool on these. So. And these, when you cut one of them, like a limb. Yeah. It will pour. You'll come back yeah. maybe 30 minutes later. Lots of water coming out of it. And there's it. just water just seeping out, just pouring out. And they're they're a water type of birch. They're a water birch. Yeah, they suck and the water out of the ground. And they just seep the water out of their limbs. There's a stump over there. I had to cut a cherry tree down. My cherry tree died this year. I don't know what kind of got a hold of it. And the, all the apple and peach blooms died. Those were peach trees and pear trees over there. So we had no peaches, but I noticed I have one apple on that little gala tree over there. So. Well, it's... it's the, um, frost got them this year. Yeah, frost. It but was. Show them this so we'll, we can show the before. Yeah, and this is. Oh, it looks totally gnarly right now. But we're gonna try to fix that back up again. It was. It was nice. We had some beautiful bushes there. It was kind of two layers of bushes. Hey, let me try and get some of the hummingbirds. I don't know if you yeah. can get them. We've got like eight hummingbirds right now. We do have eight hummingbirds. Oh, uh, they're kind of hit and miss. Right? I see. I see a bunch of them around. There are a bunch of them around your flower over there right now. Yeah. 